You can be funny, you can be smart, you can be an entrepreneur, you can uh, be a smart businesswoman, and you can also take your clothes off in a magazine, you can make it work for you. Make no mistake, these modern playmates mean business. We're always excited by and looking for ways to help uh, the playmates in their careers, you know, wherever those careers may take them. The image that Hef has created with the Playmates fascinates so many that it opens doors all over the place. Like many Playmates of the 90s, Carrie Stevens was drawn to Playboy because she knew it would help her career as an actress. The Massachusetts farm girl was right. It's so interesting to me the power that Playboy has. I mean, it does have the power to open doors. And the difference between before I did Playboy and was auditioning in this town and after is truly amazing. And I've had guest appearances on shows like 90210. I've worked with Michael Richards from Seinfeld. And it's all thanks to Playboy. I've always um, loved to be in front of the camera since I was a little girl. And um, I come to life. It's, it's in my blood. So it's an adventure. And I've always been up for an adventure. Steven's first big adventure began at age 18 when she met drummer Eric Carr from the rock band Kiss after a concert. So I almost went straight from home to being on the road with a major rock band. So I was like this naive 18-year-old and had this rock star boyfriend who was 19 years older than me. And he was just the sweetest, most down-to-earth thing. But after four years together, the sweetness turned to tragedy when Carr was stricken with cancer and passed away. It's almost like... He came into my life and lifted me up and sent me on my way. Today, his memory keeps Stevens going. I can feel him proud of me. And uh, part of the reason I've never given up is because every time I get down and I want to give up, I think about how much he helped me, how much support he gave me, and how disappointed in me he would be if I gave up. And I just, I can't, I can't do that. I just feel like he knows, you know, he's sitting on my shoulder, he knows. Tonight, he's showing you the most unbelievable sights, the brightest stars, and the biggest scuffles around Hollywood after dark. It's not surprising to see emerging stars like Blood and Wine Stephen Dorff and Playboy Playmate turned actress Carrie Stevens brave the boulevard without security, but no protection for Cher. So is this you, right here? And here's Madonna solo. Please, please sign us. He played a mini version of Mike Myers in the Austin Powers sequel. Now Vern Troyer reveals more about his new role opposite Jim Carrey while working the job of his dreams in the Playboy Mansion. It's like very grainy, baby. Mini Me is doing a mini hem. I told my managers, um, I'll do it for free. <laughs> Actually, I'll pay them. The problem was with all the girls, because we were all fighting over and then we were, you know, it's getting pretty ugly over here at the Playboy Mansion. I told them, stop fighting, <laughs> please. It's enough for me to go around. Burns' career has skyrocketed since he first appeared as Dr. Evil's mini sidekick. Now he's doing better than Austin Powers himself. I'm shagging more than he would probably be. No, I'm joking. It's a joke. I mean, this is like the ultimate. Mm. Mm, there's always Playboy TV. <laughs> Hard copy caught up with playmate Carrie Stevens, consulting a feng shui expert. Carrie's hoping to give her hectic life some peaceful flow on the home front. This is probably the first place I've had that feels like home. Richard Webster, who's written 35 feng shui books, showed Carrie how to use crystals to counteract shards, sharp angles which eat up positive energy. You'd think there'd be sufficient curves in a playmate pad, but apparently not. And Carrie also discovered she has a flower problem. In my Playmate data sheet, my number one turn on was receiving flowers from someone special. Of course, yes. And I got sort of tired of waiting around for it to happen. So, I bought some for myself, some permanent ones. Now, what do you think of this? Well, unfortunately, they're dried flowers, which is terrible in feng shui. Feng shui means wind and water. So he want water, so dried flowers had all the water removed. But give Carrie a break. Asian culture wasn't exactly a powerful influence in her hometown, Hardwick, Massachusetts. And her Playboy travels are taking her to places like the Dominican Republic, not China. So she had to be instructed about the benefits of goldfish. 
fish are great from a feng shui point of view. In the Orient, when they see fish in a fish bowl, they don't think, look at the pretty fish. They immediately think of money. So they've got money, so money, money. So eight gold fish and one black fish. Yes, the black fish is there for protection. Protects. It, yes, it protects. The and that's right. And if any, your whole your whole apartment actually. And if any fish die, it just means that some disaster has been averted. So it's not bad news at all, except perhaps for the fish. We leave you with a little spiritual enlightenment from Playboy's June Centerfold, Carrie Stevens. Right. I love my life. Credit being able to enjoy all the success that I'm having with keeping my life in balance. And if I wasn't taking care of myself mentally, physically, and spiritually, I might not enjoy it as much. I mean, Sprinkle in a few playmates of the month and garnish with plenty of sexy sleepwear, and you've got yourself a recipe to keep you warm all the way through Thanksgiving. In case you don't have a teddy bear to sleep with, you can always really struggle after this. This bedtime shopping spree is for an upcoming party called Pajama Rama, celebrating Playboy TV's 15th anniversary and benefiting AIDS Project Los Angeles. When a lot of people can get together and share a common interest and have fun, it's very bonding. I'm Carrie Stevens for E! Entertainment Television. Remember, if it's happening in entertainment, it's happening on E! It's interesting. There's there's always a story going on in my head when I'm shooting. I'm always talking to someone. Even if I mean, even if it's not an acting job, it's not film. It's stills. There's always a story going on. I'm always thinking about something. Um, there's always someone specific that, that camera is for me to talk to. But I have a great time modeling. I love all all of it. It's a lot of fun. 